Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the problem B of code process round 752, which is drawn specific. Okay. So in this problem, there is an array given of any integers, and we have to split that array into some subarrays. For example, if there are k subarrays, then we have an array of k length also. And this each element of this array represents the longest increasing subsequence of the corresponding array. For example, if we split these arrays into three part, okay. So the longest increasing subsequence for this array is 2, 5, means of length 2. For this, it is only 1. If there is one element, then it is 1. And for this, it is 3. This represents the longest uh, uh, increasing subsequence of that particular uh, array. Okay, longest increasing subsequence. Fine. Okay. Now, uh, and the word is subsequence. The subsequence is, it is not subarray, it is subsequence basically. It is subsequent. For example, here is 2, 3, and 4. That is why there is the 3. Okay, fine. Okay. Basically, you have to you have to check that whether it is possible to divide this array into such uh, such sub arrays of uh, such k sub arrays sub, such there the bitwise or of their array of longest increasing sequence means h1 s2 h up to hk is equal to zero. If it is possible or not. Kya ho sakta hai, nahi ho sakta hai. So if you cheez dekhe. Uh, let me move towards the whiteboard. So, and I'm going to see that the n, if n is even, if n is even, so in this case, for example, n is even, n has n is equal to 8, for example. So, we can just divide these 8 elements, for example, there are some 8 elements in this array. So, we can just divide it into 8 subarrays. 8 subarrays. Okay, like this. And in each subarray, there will be only one element. Here it is one, one. For example, it is a one array, like this. And for a subarray who contains only which contains only one element, the value of hi is equal to one only. Me means if there is an array this three, then how many which is the longest increasing subsequence? This only. Then the longest increasing subsequence is one. So when n is even, then we can divide it into uh, array of uh, uh, this means array which contains only one element, and uh, and for e each and every subarray, the value of h i will be one. And we know whenever we are making zor of some value means zor of one one, so it will give zero only. So if we making zor of one one even times because there are even subarrays. So it will also give 1, means the ZOR of 3, ZOR 3 is equal to 0. So if ZOR of 3, ZOR 3, ZOR 3, ZOR 3 is also 0, this ZOR cancels this ZOR, this cancels this. Same, if there are even number, even numbers of same number, then its ZOR will be 0. Okay? Now if n is odd, let's take that when n is odd, then what can we do? If n is odd, then what can we do? Then what we can do is that we have to check that is there a particular pair, consecutive pair, okay, exist in that array which is non-decreasing. For example, 3, 2. So what will be the h of this 3, 2? The h of this 3, 2 will be 1 only. The longest increasing subsequence is 1 only. For example, here is 2, comma 2. For this array, subarray also, the value of h will be 1. Why it is 1? Because the longest increase subsequence is 1 only. There is no longest sub sub uh, increase subsequence. For this also it is 1 and for this also it is 1. For example, there is an array 1, 2, 3, uh, 2, 5. So, we can divide like 1, 2. Now we can take 3, comma 2 and then 5. So, obviously the h for this is 1 as for this particular value is 1, as for this is 1, but for s for this 2 is also 1, because it is decreasing. And now we have even numbers of 1s, so it will be 0 again, the ZOR of this 1, 1, 1. Just we have to figure out that is there any pair exist in the particular array such that the second element is less than the first element, or it is equal. For example, there is 3 only. So here it is 3, then also the value of h will be 1 like this. So, you have to just check this only. Okay? So, let's move towards the code part. 
So what I have done is code, you can check. This is the code. What I have done is I have just checked that is there a pair exist in that array such that the second element is less than or equal to the first element. And if exists, then we have to just break and print y means yes and else we have to print no. And if the, uh, the, if the array is, uh, means n is uh, even, then also we have to just print yes. This is the simple solution. So if you have any doubt, you can ask it in the comment section or you can d, uh, DM me through WhatsApp or Telegram. You can also subscribe channel for community. Thank you much for the video. Please share it with your friends. Thank you.